Hey, what is going on guys? Danny here. Hope you've all been doing well. And this is going to be a very interesting video because we're going to be taking a look at a product that may not come off as exciting or revolutionary in any way. It's essentially a piece of flat wood and I wasn't even going to bother making a video about it. But for the application I was using it for, it worked like a charm. So I decided why not share my thoughts on it and let people be aware of it in case anyone finds themselves in my shoes. This is the Targus Lap Desk, and as I had already mentioned, it's a wooden lap board that was designed for users who want to be able to prop up their laptop while sitting on their bed, couch, or lounge chair. It was designed to work with laptops that have screen sizes of up to 15.6 inches, but it may just be able to work with some 17 inch laptops that aren't super bulky. The Targus Lapboard also has an integrated mouse pad, which I found was quite accommodating for the user if they want to use a mouse instead of the laptop's trackpad. And as someone who hates trackpads, I can appreciate that. The Targus Lapboard has a sleek design. It's slim and lightweight and also comes with a handle, making the board fairly portable. It's got a smooth texture finish and the brown wooden color makes the board look elegant, allowing it to fit in any work environment without any issues. The bottom of the board has a soft touch cloth material that feels nice to the touch. Along with that, it comes with an integrated plush cushion to help support the board for a comfortable setup and prevent fatiguing on your lap or knees. And that's pretty much it as far as the board itself goes. Overall, it's made with decent materials and it does the job. But like I said, it wasn't going to be anything super exciting or revolutionary. But what I wanted to actually talk about was the application I was using this board for, because I'm not even using it for my laptop or any laptop for that matter. Recently, I purchased an LG C9 OLED TV, and I also have a secondary gaming rig hooked up to it. This is supposed to be for a couch gaming setup, one where I can relax and play some single player games. If it's an online competitive game like an FPS shooter, I'll play that on my 1440p 144Hz monitor, if I want to be a real tryhard that is. But sometimes you just want to relax, sit back and enjoy some single player titles on a larger screen and not on a monitor desk setup that emulates that old console like setup. Now for adventure games such as Shadow of the Tomb Raider or Assassin's Creed, a controller works fine and is my preferred method of input. However, playing an FPS title like Doom for example just does not work at all with a controller for me. Just aiming with a controller felt so unnatural to me, it was unresponsive, and my movements felt slow. I couldn't aim for the life of me, no pun intended. And getting a proper mouse and keyboard setup on the couch has always been a challenging thing. Now big brand gaming peripheral manufacturers have made some solutions for this. From Corsair, you've got their Lapboard, which essentially uses their wireless K63 mechanical keyboard and an area for a mouse. From Razer, you have their turret, which is similar to the Lapboard, and also Rocat have their Sova, that's pretty much the same thing. And while they're all very intriguing products, which all aim to solve the issue I had, my only gripe was the astronomical prices they were charging for such a solution. The Corsair Lapboard here costs 230 Canadian dollars, while the Razer turret fetches for a whopping $300. The Rocat Cat Sova isn't even available to buy, but from what I've seen, MSRP is usually around the same as the other ones. Now to me, I couldn't justify spending that much for just wanting a keyboard and mouse on my lap. You can call it too expensive or overpriced, but when you can find quality wireless mouse and keyboards for around $60, then where is that extra $100 to $200 premium coming from? So that is where Targus's lap desk comes in, because this board actually works really well for a mouse and keyboard setup for the couch, and it's absolutely game changing. If you're wondering how to best utilize this lap desk, then I recommend using it with a 10 keyless keyboard so that you still have quite a bit of room for the mouse. And I found that the integrated mouse pad works for a non-gaming scenario like if you're browsing the web, but if you're gaming, I found it to be a little too short to accommodate the mouse movement. This was easy to get around by simply using a regular sized cloth mouse pad which gives me the adequate space to use my mouse comfortably and allow it to glide around smoothly. So as long as you've got the right sized peripherals, the Targus Lapboard can accommodate them sufficiently. And as far as usability goes, it works very well for a couch gaming setup. I've used this board with both a wired mouse and keyboard connected to a USB hub, then hooked up to an extension cable. While a wireless keyboard and mouse would make this perfect, using wired peripherals is totally usable and I didn't feel any unnecessary resistance or restrictive movement when using the peripherals. Actually using the keyboard and mouse on the lap desk, I was able to sit in my usual posture and had a lot of room for both peripherals to make it a comfortable experience. I had a lot of room to move my mouse around and if you've got an even smaller keyboard, then low DPI users shouldn't have any issues as well. Typing and gaming on the keyboard with this lap desk honestly felt as if I was using it on an actual desk. I could game for hours on end and didn't feel any sort of discomfort with my wrists or hand. 
Furthermore, what I really liked about this whole setup was the fact that I didn't need any time to get used to it. It all felt very natural to me. I was immediately able to pick it up, use it as normal, and because of this, I was able to appreciate it that much more. I could finally play the games I wanted to, such as Doom or Modern Warfare, without having any sort of hindrance on my performance. I didn't have any awkward moments with the board, and having that plush cushion not only helps with fatiguing, but gives the board a nice elevated tilt that definitely gives my wrists best positioning. This is exactly the kind of solution I was looking for, and for just 25 bucks, this was extremely cost effective to having a keyboard and mouse set up for a couch gaming experience. So if you find yourself in my shoes and are wanting to use a keyboard and mouse for a couch gaming experience, then I highly recommend you get yourself one of these lap desks or lap boards from Targus, especially if you don't want to spend an arm and a leg on one from a known manufacturer. I hope you guys found this video to be informative and helpful, let me know your thoughts down below. Check out the video description on ways to support the channel and my other videos, and if if you're interested in more content like this, then make sure you're subscribed. Thanks for watching, take care, and I'll see you guys in the next one.